The government secondary school I attended in Kano for the first year, for my first year of uh, secondary school, no longer exists. Never give up. Today is hard. Tomorrow will be worse, but the day after tomorrow will be sunshine. This is according to Jack Ma. Hello and welcome to the Fifth Estate Show. This is where we talk about development issues and the NGO sector in Nigeria. I am Hadiza Abubakar, your host on this show. Federal lead of Better Nigeria has expressed grave concern over Nigerians' inadequate education funding, revealing less than 8% allocation of federal spending is allocated to education. Stay tuned to find out more on the details from the event. Also today on the show, Okwama killings, the military cannot be judged, says Iwangoma. Action Aid urges urgent reforms to address human development crisis. Zenith Bank named Nigeria's best bank for the fourth year in the last five at Global Finance Award 2024. This amount will be our focus on today's episode of the show. We'll be right back after the short break. In response to the killing of 17 military officers in the Okwama community of Delta State, Rulax Executive Director Okechuku Nwanguma urges the military to end the siege in Delta communities. While condemning the officers' death, Nwanguma advocates for an impartial inquiry rather than collective punishment. He warns against repeating the 1999 Odi community crisis and emphasizes that the military repressor violates due process. Wanguma calls for the police to lead the investigation, stressing that the military cannot be judged in its own case. He urges the Delta State government to promptly establish a judiciary inquiry. In a related development, the Nigerian police force has apprehended eight suspects linked to the killing of its officers in Ugeli of Delta State. A month prior, six officers died and six remain missing in the incident. The arrested suspects are aiding the ongoing investigation. Action Aid Nigeria calls for immediate action in response to the GF founding of the United Nations Development Program's Human Development Report. Action Aid's country director, Andrew Mamido, highlights Nigeria's alarming low ranking in human development. It is rating 161 out of 193 countries and emphasizes the disproportionate impact on marginalized communities. Despite Nigeria's abundant resources and high GDP, its Human Development Index remains low, indicating a failure to translate economic growth into tangible improvement for citizens. Mamido stresses the urgency for the government to address crises in education, healthcare, infrastructure, and social safety nets. In another development, Zenith Bank has been named the best bank in Nigeria in the Global Finance Best Bank Award 2024, marking its fourth win since 2019. The selection process involved extensive consultations with industry experts and considered both objective and subjective criteria, including growth, profitability, innovation, and customer loyalty. Outgoing Group Managing Director Dr. Ebenezer Onyagu attributed the win to the bank's resilience and dedication to stakeholders. Publisher Joseph D. Giarapoto highlighted the importance of technological in innovation in banking. Global Finance's Best Bank Award are considered highly prestigious globally, with winners chosen across 150 countries. Janet Bank's consistent excellence have garnered numerous awards over the years, showcasing its leadership in the Nigerian banking sector. Over to you, Hadiza. Those are some of the reports. In a workshop organized by Better Nigeria, a civil society organization, alongside other experts, 
have highlighted challenges like teacher pay and curriculum gaps as the obstacle being faced by Nigeria's educational system. Speaking at the workshop, the Federal Lead of Better Nigeria, Abdul Salam Badamasi, expressed deep concern over the government's lack of prioritization of education. The government secondary school I attended in Kano for the first year, for my first year of uh, secondary school, no longer exists. And it was founded in 1975. That secondary school no longer exists, so it is one less school for some people in that location. And it no longer existed because there was no funding to keep the school going. And it is a public school, it's a government school, a unity secondary school where you bring everybody from all parts of the country to come together. But in the same canal, you have a secondary school that has been existing since 1951. That is St. Louis Secondary School which is managed by the St. Louis Sisters, or let's say, missionary. Founder and Chief Executive Officer of the Cedar Seed Foundation, Louis Alta, cited Article 24 of the United Nations Charter advocating for the right of education for persons with disabilities, also had this to say. Article 24 of the United Nations Convention on the Right of Persons with Disabilities talks about the right to participate in educational activities as children with disabilities. And that was why I said, I am happy with the conversations going on right now. Children with disabilities find it difficult to access educational facilities and services due to the forms of disability. See, the ramps at the entry and exit point, in the sign language, in the features, you see the real materials, and many things that I don't want to mention here. The solution is collaboration, SDG Goal 17. That's why we're here. Head over to our YouTube channel to watch full details of the event at Aquaya TV and other interesting content. You are still with the Fifth Estate Show. Here are some available grant opportunities that NGOs and individuals can apply to get funds to sustain their activities right after this break. Hello and welcome to Aquaya Language on Aquaya TV. My name is Lucy A. With a deadline 8 January 2024, in cooperation with the German Federation Foreign Office, the World Cinema Fund launched a special funding opportunity for projects from Sub-Sahara Africa. For more information, visit World Cinema Fund. Follow the procedures and apply. Also with a deadline 30th April 2024, awards are now available to 10 deserving African graduate students in sciences relevant to plant nutrition and the management of nutrients applied to crops. For more information, visit African Plant Nutrient Institute. Check for more details and apply. This is where we end this episode of the Fifth Estate Show. I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you for staying with us. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media and do add to ISO Media. I am Hadiza Abubakar. See you on the next episode.